Unreal Engine can be used to create a 3D world. All of the objects you can see in this world are 3D objects, or meshes. This means you can see the object from any direction, not just the front. A mesh is a 3D model of an object. Not only does it have height and width, but it also has depth. It's not just flat, like on a piece of paper. You can move around so you can see it from all sides. For example, this office chair is just a flat picture. But we can open it as a 3D mesh and can view it from all angles, front, back, top, bottom, from every angle. This is a mesh. Another example is this tree. This is just a flat 2D picture. We can also create it as a 3D model and turn it into a mesh that we can see from all angles, from the top and the bottom and from every side. Meshes don't have to be something simple like an office chair or just a tree, but it can be a whole complex system. This treehouse can be recreated as a mesh. All parts of it, including every small piece, is a mesh, a 3D model of an actual item. Even living objects like this squirrel can be a mesh. If we can recreate it as a 3D model, we can see it from all sides, all angles, and it becomes a mesh. There are three kinds of meshes. A static mesh, a skeletal mesh, and geometry. A static mesh is a mesh or a 3D model that doesn't bend, deform, or change shape. It can move, but it can't animate. For example, this bench is a 3D model or mesh and it just sits there. It sits still. It doesn't have legs or arms or a neck or joints that can bend or move. It is a static mesh. Likewise, these boxes can't bend or animate. They are just a static mesh. The tree, although it can move because it has branches and leaves that move in the wind, is also a static mesh because it can't get up and walk around or animate. It doesn't have joints or limbs or anything like that. This statue, although it is a statue of an angel, is also a static mesh because the statue itself cannot move. It cannot get up and move around. These are all examples of static mesh. The second kind of mesh is a skeletal mesh, or a mesh with moving parts. Think of a skeletal mesh as having a skeleton inside of it. For example, these animals have joints, they have limbs, they have a neck, they can move around, they can animate. So they are a skeletal mesh. Likewise, these robots have joints, have limbs, they can move around, they can walk and jump, they can animate, so they are considered a skeletal mesh. Bad guys or monsters are also an example of skeletal mesh. They have joints, they can move around, they have a skeleton inside them that can animate. The third kind of mesh is geometry. It's a special kind of mesh used to represent 3D space and it's generally used for prototyping. And it, to give you an example of geometry and how it's used uh, is I need to give you an example from a game. For example, let's pretend that I am creating a video game that takes place in a desert kingdom of some kind with a palace and all this architecture. I'm not a good artist, so I can't make this myself. I'm going to hire somebody who is a good artist and can create these meshes for me. But I don't want to stop working on my game while I wait for the artist to complete all these projects. So I will use geometry, a special kind of mesh that I can use to create a rough draft of my castle, my temple in the desert, and I can put that in place in my game and create all the coding and all of the hard work while I'm waiting for the artist. Once the artist is done, they can drop their meshes that they've created into my game, and I don't slow down my production of my game at any uh, for any reason. 
Let's watch a video to see how geometry is used. Hey guys, so let's get started on the BSB geometry tools that come with Unreal Engine 4. Now these tools are very useful to block out your level and especially if you have very little art and you want to make the big shapes of your level. So what we have here in the modes window, which you can get to through modes or window modes, is uh, under geometry, we have uh, several shapes. Now I place all of these shapes here in the level and bake the lighting. So you can sort of like see, and the most common one you would probably use is the cube. So whenever you would drag in a new cube, so what we got when we place the cube is basically a very simple shape that we can manipulate. So one way to manipulate it is by just changing the X, Y, and the Z. But also you can just use the regular widget tools. For example, you, by using spacebar, you can switch between those modes and you can scale them up and down, etc. One very important thing is to make sure you have a like a high number on your on your grid so it's easier to work with, um, easier to align different shapes together. Now one other really cool thing about these BSB geometry tools is that if we were to drag another box in and let's just slide it in the other one. So now currently it's additive. You know, currently that's the default mode. It, so now these two shapes are combined into one. But now if I were to select this shape and I scroll down and we do subtractive, now you can see that we actually removed a whole chunk out of this, out of this other piece of geometry. So that's how you can make much more interesting shapes than just cubes and just cylinders, etc. By smart use of these sub subtractive and additive modes. Now, one final thing that's important to know is that if I were to drag on another one of these and now push this in, now you can start to see that this one doesn't get cut by this subtractive shape. And that is because order is very important. And that is usually, you know, the placement order. So this is the first one we placed. This is the second one. This is the third. That means that this one only affects everything that was placed before us. So only the first. Now I can, for example, select this guy, scroll down in the options, find the order and I would click two first. And now you can see it actually changed the cutout. So now it is affected by the by by this shape because we made this the first placed implicitly like the first BSB um, box to consider. So that's very important, especially if things aren't cutting the way you think they're supposed to be cutting. And you can do the same with placing it to last. And now it's no longer being uh, being cut.